Apple's upcoming AI innovations and new iPad Pro with old display, Tesla's sudden layoffs and changes to supercharger network. In the latest news, Apple is set to make significant announcements in the field of artificial intelligence AI at its upcoming Worldwide Developers Conference WWDC in June. CEO Tim Cook has expressed excitement about the company's progress in generative AI and T's major AI-related announcements to come. Apple is leveraging its strengths in seamless hardware, software integration, and privacy to differentiate itself in the AI space. The company is rumored to be developing device-based AI features, with the upcoming M4 chip expected to power these innovations. The M4 chip is likely to debut in the new iPad Pro models, which are also set to feature old displays for the first time. The adoption of old technology on the iPad Pro has presented new challenges for suppliers, who have had to overcome difficulties in the etching process to create thinner and lighter displays. Apple has introduced a hybrid glass polyamide substrate and two-stack tandem technology in the new iPad Pro, marking a significant advancement for the iPad lineup. Additionally, the iPhone 16 is expected to feature a new old display driver supplier, Novatec, as Apple continues to optimize its supply chain for each product. On the other hand, Tesla has made significant layoffs to its supercharger team, including the dismissal of senior director Rebecca Tinucci. This move has caused confusion and concern among automakers and contractors involved in the supercharger rollout. Tesla's supercharger network, once a key competitive advantage, is now expected to grow at a slower pace with a focus on existing locations. The strategic shift towards A and robotics, along with cost-cutting measures, may explain the move. However, it risks slowing EV adoption and charging infrastructure growth as the supercharger team was responsible for servicing and maintaining Tesla's vast network of charging stations. The company's pivot towards A and robotics, along with cost-cutting measures, may explain the move, although it risks slowing EV adoption and charging infrastructure growth.